Hi, I'm Christy Grayson, doctoral student, Creighton University, Hyder College of Business. This is an exciting time for higher education. Advances in technology enable instructors to provide even more unique and engaging experiences for students. For the course project, I selected the concept of gamification to demonstrate a technology used to enhance learning. The concept of gamification is to design experiences based on game design elements and principles in a non-game context. For educators, it's used to enhance learning by increasing student engagement and relating theoretical concepts in a hands-on, real-world application. The audience that I intend to target for this project are MBA students, and we will be exploring this simulation in the marketing management course. These students will be educated and they also have real world experience, many coming from business. The important thing about the simulation is that it's going to provide a collaborative environment for students to work together and work on a real world project that is interactive, entertaining, and competitive. After evaluating several simulations, I chose the McGraw-Hill Marketing Practice Simulation as it aligned really well with the course content and also provided a really unique interface for students that's engaging and interactive. Now I'm going to provide a demonstration of the marketing simulation. First, the students enter the website. There's a quick introduction of the process and there are several steps the students need to complete as they work their way through the simulation. The students own a backpack company and its headquarters is in the center of the game. The goal is to create the most profitable marketing strategy. The first task is to select a segment they intend to reach. The game has five different segments based on a number of various attributes. I will select the university students. Each student has a profile including demographic, purchase behavior, price, and product preferences. As the students progress through the game, they'll be able to view their segments, sales, and feedback from the instructor or peer group. Now it's time for the students to create the product based on the needs of the segment they just selected. The user can select from various features including the shape of the product, the material, the color, and various add-ons. As you'll see from the box on the left, as the features are selected, the production cost is provided. The students need to determine how they will price their product based on the overall cost to produce, the cost of sales, and the amount the buyer is willing to pay. There are six potential distribution channels for which to sell the product. From the department stores to discount stores, each distributor has terms including their cut of the product price. I've chosen to sell the backpacks at the university store as well as to sell them direct from the company's website. Next, the students look at the positioning and advertising strategies that they'll use to reach their audience. The positioning statements have 15 options for the student to select. With that, they can mix and match five separate options to create their messaging strategy. In addition, they have the opportunity to place several different types of media, including types of internet, such as social media, or television shows, radio, print, even flyers. Once the data is completed for each of the marketing sections to develop their strategy, the student will select next turn. They have an opportunity to review the results of their selection and make adjustments. Once they've done that, 
they go back to headquarters and see a number of reports that demonstrate how well their marketing strategy is performing. At this time, students are now ready to compete with other classroom members. Finally, to wrap up, the technology that I demonstrated today was based on the emerging concept of gamification. And what we've seen through the demonstration is that this is a really great way to teach subject matter such as principles of marketing in an engaging, fun, interactive, and collaborative way. However, this technology has not been adopted widely in higher education. However, the K through 12 institutions, as well as some online learning universities, have adopted and have found success with this emerging technology. I do believe that within the next five to 10 years, we will see more traditional organizations, universities, and colleges use this technology frankly, to remain competitive and to reach those students in the way that uh, they will best learn.